Hello everybody. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about lightsaber blades. Now with some of my recent videos I've been getting some questions about what is blade diffusion, what sort of diffusion do you put in those blades, and how do you do it. So I wanted to talk about the different types of blades. I have here an undiffused blade. Specifically this is a photon blade uh, using stock from TCSS, which as I understand it is the same place that Vader's Vault, uh, the same stock that Vader's Vault uses. I have some standard Ultra Sabers diffused blades. Uh, these are mid-gray. You'll notice that whereas this one you can see through, this one has that sort of silvery sheen inside. All right, let's start with that. That silvery sheen is actually just cellophane. This is a tube of cellophane I picked up from Michael's. Uh, cost me about 10 bucks. It's 40 inches, or 40 inches by 100 feet. So this will do a lot of blades. Uh, individually, just a little piece of it all by itself, it looks clear. However, when you double it up on itself, it ends up with this silver sheen. And what we're doing here, this diffusion, the reason that we do it, if you don't have it, all the light just escapes right from the uh, base of your blade. Uh, at least most of it does. If you have the diffusion film, it traps the light inside and encourages it to come out a little bit more evenly over the length of the blade, so you actually get a more solid blade. Alright, so how do we put the diffusion film in? Well, the nice thing about the uh, TCSS stock is that their blades are, unless you have them cut them, 40 inches long, okay, which is the same length as the diffusion film. If I were working with a shorter blade, I could either cut the film uh, to length beforehand, or there's another method I'll show you in a minute that I prefer. So we lay out the film. Uh, there, you just have to kind of eyeball it by preference as to how much. I have about the width of this table laid out, which is about, about that much film. All right, you lay it out, and this part's the tricky one. You gotta roll it up. Okay, if your roll is, a, if the, uh, roll is a little bit loose or a little bit ugly, don't worry too much about it. You'll be able to tighten it once everything's said and done. But the neater your roll, the uh, easier the next bit's going to be. All right. So we roll up the film, and you're starting to see that silvery sheen. Next bit is that we have to put our finger in here and tighten this roll so that it is narrow enough to fit inside the blade. Right, now, while I'm tightening this, I will mention that you have to make certain that you have a clean surface before you start this process. If there were lint or cat fur or something like that on this table, that was going to end up inside my blade. So I had to clean this surface first. All right, so we twist the blade film up nice and tight here. And then we slide it inside the blade. Okay, usually you want to tap it down a little bit. And it doesn't matter how tight you, uh, you roll up the film because this next part is where we sort of split the difference. I'm going to put my finger in the middle of the roll, hold it towards the edge, I'm going to rotate in the opposite direction so that it flattens the film out into the side of the blade. If you don't like doing this or you're uncomfortable with it, uh, this process will happen over time, so you could just let it happen, but I'm impatient. All right. All right, let me tap down a little bit, and there we have it. This is a single diffused blade. You notice the sheen, the fact that we can't see through it. Red is a bad color to run down a photon blade, but we still end up with a much better illumination and diffusion throughout the product. All right, um, now securing this film. There's a couple schools of thought on this. Personally, I like to bring the film all the way to the end of the blade stock and then not secure it. I count on it being stuck in there with the LED and not sliding out. And when I'm not using it, I put a little dust cap on there. If you have a mind to, and a lot of manufacturers do, you can secure it with a little bit of hot glue. Notice here on the ultra sabers. 
uh, there's a little bit of hot glue around the inside here. Okay, I used to do this. The problem with it is that upon occasion, the film will crumple and bunch up and you'll get these little runs up through it. This way it has room to flex. All right, so this is a single diffused blade. Some of the options out there that exist are what's called double diffused, diffused blades. Put those singles right there. A double diffused blade is like this blade here from Saber Forge, or this blade here from Ultra Sabers. This is their Ultra Edge. What they've done to double diffuse is there's a film inside of here, and they've used a trans white blade that's going to diffuse the light all by itself. For that effect. A trans white blade with no diffusion film looks like one of the kyber light blades. It still diffuses once, but it's got, uh, got dead spots in the middle here. Uh, this is a kyber light blade with an ultra sabers. It dims out towards the top. Right, so if you're going to go with trans white, you dual diffuse. Okay, diffusion film inside, and you count on the trans white to diffuse. The Saber Forge blade uses the film inside as well, and they use sort of a foggy blade, kind of not quite a trans white, somewhere in between. And you end up with a very similar process. Okay. You can dual diffuse yourself without a trans white, and this is something that Saber Forge does. You notice we've got two single diffused blades here. I walk out of screen here. Now get a simple piece of sandpaper. Okay, this blade is diffused once. And now the blade is diffused twice. Notice the slight difference in look between these two. This one starts looking a lot more like that Saber Forge blade. And the difference in function, I have two Sabers running single LED, or single red LEDs. This one's got a piece of styrofoam in it. But the difference in function is that the dual diffused takes the color all the way to the outside edge, but doesn't mute it as much as a trans white diffusion. Um, this one is brighter and more intense, but it's got more of that light in a tube look. Uh, I actually kind of prefer this over this, but that's what dual diffusion is. Diffused once, diffused twice. Hopefully this has helped. If it has, please like or subscribe.